Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to turn trash into fuel. Remember the scene from Back to the Future where Doc throws an aluminum can into the DeLorean to power it? Well, could it actually be possible to get fuel from metal like this? Well, we already know that you can create hydrogen gas from some metals. I guess you could say I'm pretty familiar with the reaction of sodium metal with water to create flammable hydrogen Whoa. gas that can ignite and explode. Whoa. But pure sodium metal is pretty hard to come by. I wish there were some metal that were easier to get and cheaper and safer to store than sodium. Well, it turns out there is. It's exactly what Doc threw in the DeLorean, an aluminum can. Aluminum reacts very quickly with water to create hydrogen gas. So let's drop some aluminum in water and watch it react. Okay, here we go. Stand back. Oh, nothing happened. The reason nothing happened is because the aluminum reacts so quickly with the air and the water that it creates a shell of strong aluminum oxide on the outside. This thin skin around it stops the aluminum from reacting anymore with the water. So we can't use aluminum to make hydrogen gas from water. That is, unless we had something that could keep the oxide layer from forming, and also if we could split the aluminum up into little tiny nano pieces so that it could react faster with water. So what could possibly do this? This is gallium. It's a liquid at 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's just get some aluminum foil and mix it in with the gallium. Gallium can mix with the aluminum and stop the oxide layer from forming and even make nanoparticles of aluminum ready for water to react with. So you can see how the aluminum just dissolves into the gallium. If you keep adding aluminum, it forms an aluminum gallium composite. The best mixture for this is a three to one ratio of gallium to aluminum. It doesn't even have to be perfect aluminum. You can even use post-consumer grade aluminum for this reaction. Now all I'm going to do is add water to this. This is just regular water. Watch what happens. <laughs> you can see that just by mixing the aluminum with gallium at room temperature using regular water, we can actually create hydrogen gas. This reaction makes on-demand hydrogen through the Grothus mechanism. Oh. Holy cow. <laughs> you can make 130 milliliters of hydrogen per gram of alloy used. That is awesome. Oh, it's getting crazier. Holy cow. Now what's cool is the gallium doesn't get used up in this reaction. It can be treated and reused indefinitely. So it kind of acts like a catalyst in the reaction. So after filtering out this mixture, my gallium here is at the bottom. I'll pull it out with this dropper here. So this is my recovered gallium from that reaction, ready to be used again with more aluminum. You might have been aware that you can get hydrogen gas from mixing aluminum in a base like sodium hydroxide. But in this case, the base is used up, so you'd have to continually supply the base to keep making the hydrogen. Now, it may seem like we're getting a free energy source here. I'm not inputting any energy to make the hydrogen gas, and this hydrogen gas can then be used for fuel. So where does the energy come from to make this hydrogen? Well, it comes from the fact that in nature, aluminum is already in the oxide form. So you have to input energy to remove the oxygen. But once you've already made the aluminum that would normally be thrown away, then you could actually use that aluminum metal because it has energy stored in it to make hydrogen gas like this. And there's actually active research into using aluminum and mixing it with gallium to make hydrogen gas like this. But who knows if we could actually use something like this on a large scale? What do you think? And before we end, I'd like to thank Mel Science for sponsoring this video. If you like watching my channel and seeing experiments, then you'll love Mel Science Boxes. Mel is a subscription box service that provides you with your own science kit shipped monthly. They're designed by actual scientists and parents to give you an amazing box every time. I've used many of their kits in my own videos and with my own kids as well. They provide you with everything you need for your own experiments at home. 
Look how cool this projector is from the Mel STEM kits. So look at this, you can see my desk behind there. It's a mini projector of your own room. If you want to check out Mel Science Kits, my followers can get 50% off any Mel Science subscription. All you need to do is click the link in my description and use code ACTIONLAB50 or scan the QR code here. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And you can also check out theactionlab.com where I sell some Action Lab science gear. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.